tonight, disturbing video shows the moment a man sustained paralyzing injuries while being transported by police in St. Petersburg, Florida, according to a new federal lawsuit. I knew that something bad happened. Really, really bad. Heriberto Sanchez Mayan's attorney says after an unfounded trespassing arrest last June, Sanchez Mayan was loaded into a police van with no seatbelts before being thrown violently due to rough driving. Body camera video provided by police capturing the moments leading up to that fateful ride. In it, Sanchez Mayan is confronted by a St. Petersburg officer while sleeping in a vacant lot. Do you see this sign right here? See, can you oh, no, I didn't see it. What's that say? You're going to take the ride today. Huh? I've decided that you're going to actually go to jail today. Sanchez Mayan's attorney, Tom Scalaro, saying the police appeared to want to teach him a lesson. And you can see in the video, this poor man, um, absolutely uh, no resistance. All he wanted to do is just be left alone to take his ticket. But no, they wanted to uh, teach him a lesson. Keeps coming in contact, doesn't change his ways. What can we do? And you're in jail, we'll probably settle it. The video shows Sanchez Mayan's arms being bound with a chain around his torso before he's loaded into that transport van without a seatbelt, according to the lawsuit. The officer, uh, we believe, uh, deliberately uh, stopped short, which threw Mr. Uh, Sanchez Mayan into the bulkhead, where his head uh, struck it in a, a very uh, perverse angle, uh, fracturing his neck, uh, breaking his spine. Surveillance video from inside the van, also provided by police, then shows Sanchez Mayan appearing to be unconscious while he's pulled out by his feet. Roberto, wake up. Ultimately leaving him paralyzed with both legs amputated, according to the complaint. The department responding in a statement saying in part, quote, the St. Petersburg Police Department denies the claims and trusts in the judicial process. Now Sanchez Mayan and his family trying to cope with a life that has been drastically changed. The amount of pain the amount of injury, the amount of disability that he goes through on a daily basis is incomprehensible to, to me. And I've been doing this work for 25 years. And Stephen Romo joins us now in studio. Stephen, when it comes to the injuries that this man sustained and the federal lawsuit, what is he ultimately hoping comes out of it? Is it firings? Is it civil lawsuit payments? Yeah, it's a good question. We spoke to his attorney, and he says he does want money to help pay for these extensive medical bills, but he says he also wants accountability to keep this from happening to someone else. And by the way, I wanted to mention, according to the St. Petersburg Police Department, both of the officers who were mentioned in this lawsuit, they are both on the job right now. Another reason they say they do want that accountability. Allison. Stephen Romo, thank you. Thanks for watching. Stay updated about breaking news and top stories on the NBC News app or follow us on social media.